October 14, 1870. I start this journal with good news. I have finally found a partner equally as interested in the Southern Basin as I. Smith and I settled that at best we'd make our way south via the train and boat. We are both very eager to start our journey at first light tomorrow. November 3. After making our way to the United States of Columbia, we arranged a ride on horseback and negotiated our destination with the locals. They took us as far as they could, but the rest was up to us. Lands here are nothing short of extraordinary, and the climate is far nicer. November 5. Just a few days in, it has become clear that finding what we are looking for will no doubt have its difficulties. The maps that we acquired before our venture turned out to be extremely difficult to work with and we had very little to go on. November 9. Together, Smith and I have navigated through at least 50 miles of forest and rivers. Most of what we've seen is surely the very first to be documented. We are still within the bounds of our intended search area and we must push forward for the rains will soon make this trek impossible and we will be forced to turn back. November 14. Today was especially grueling. Both Smith and I are starting to believe that this exploration may not have been worth the time nor money. It's been difficult but I think we both are on the verge of turning back empty handed. We will discuss our plan further in the morning, but I truly wish this is not how our adventure concludes. November 15th. This morning, Smith showed me a possible clue on one of the maps we believe to be inaccurate. It isn't much to go on, and from what we think, it's a long way from where we are now, and won't be much longer till the rain comes. But this is our only opportunity so we've decided that we should travel through part of the night to make up for the distance. November 16 or 17. We made it through the night and both of us are barely able to walk. I had feared this would be the last dead end before we were forced to head north, but my fears quickly turned into tears and not tears of sadness, but of joy. We had done it. We have found the lost city. November 19th. The city may be flooded and even lost for now, but one thing is for sure. This adventure was not completely without its reward.